Laura here and welcome to today's workout. Today we've got a HIIT workout. It's going to be a 10 minute workout. We're going to do 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest and we've got 10 exercises. Um, this, uh, this workout is suitable more for intermediate level but I am going to give options uh, for beginners and low impact as we go along. So um, let's get going. But for the majority, so we'll start off with March, for the majority of the exercises I'll be demonstrating and sticking with the intermediate, more advanced options, take the feet wider. I do have videos where I've literally just stuck with uh, the beginner low impact options. So check that out as well if you prefer that. But yeah, beginners, get stuck in and give it a try as well. Arm circles, so we're gonna have a great workout today. It's gonna wake our body up and get us feeling absolutely fantastic. Okay, gentle reach up to the side. And then this time hips round, just waking, warming up the body. And again, and round. A couple of knee lifts. We can extend the leg, practice your balance, get the core working up a little bit. One more. Give me a couple of squats. So bum back, knees behind your big toe. If you struggle with squats, then just sit down onto a chair and stand up. Okay, a couple of calf raises. So use a chair if you need to balance, but make sure when we start the workout, any chairs are out of the way. So you want a clear floor, so there's nothing to trip up on. Uh, lunges, so take the back leg back, front knee stays behind your big toe. Abs are engaged, chest and shoulders are still up. One more. Okay, we will get started. That is a very quick warm up. So if you need to take a little bit longer, pause the video, do so. I do have specific warm up videos as well if you want to try them. So the first one, we're going to start off with a jog, low impact. <clears throat> Beginners can march and I want you to also use these abs as you're lifting those legs up. And if you want to go super advanced, you can do high knees. Okay, so I'm going to get a timer ready. So 35 seconds of work. It's going to count us in. Ready, let's go. So start off with a little jog. And I want you to give me a big smile. That's the most important exercise of the day. <laughs> Even if you don't feel like it, give me a big smile because that will make you feel better. Fifteen seconds to go. And time, get your breath back. Next one, star jumps, so a beginner um, impact option here, or get rid of your arms, you want to work a bit harder, make the arm, and, arm movements bigger. Intermediate level, here. Advanced, start from here, jump out and in. <laughs> Ready, let's go. And if you want to work harder, it's a case of making a movement bigger and making a movement quicker. And the opposite if you need to modify, so you just make it slow it down, make the movement slower. So work at your own level. Work at your own pace and do what you can manage. 10 seconds to go. Keep smiling, keep breathing, give me all the energy that you've got. And then some more. Okay, time. And try and stay for the full round, but if you need to stop and jump back in, that's okay as well. What have we got next? We got spotty dogs. So we're here. Beginners can be here, this is low impact. Ready, let's go. I'll show you from the side. So we're just doing here, beginner, low impact option. Here, get rid of the hands. Same with the intermediate advanced option. If you can't coordinate your legs and arms, keep your hands here. 
it is a case of keeping your body moving as quick as you can for the 35 seconds rather than slowing down because you haven't got the coordination where's that bell there we go safe by the bell um so next one squats beginner low impact intermediate advanced we're going to jump out and squat you're aiming to touch the floor but don't sacrifice form i don't want to see any of this so you keep your chest up and come down i can't touch the floor and that's okay going as low as you can and as quick as you can you're going to keep that heart rate up but you're going to start feeling a burn in your legs as well Whew. This one's a tough one. Yeah, stay with me. 15 seconds to go. <laughs> Remember, you can mix these rounds up as well. So if you're struggling rather than stopping, you can just go and do some squats. Three, two, one. Oh, shake those legs out. Next one. Power knees, we're here, and halfway through we're gonna swap legs. Beginners, here. Now, working intermediate to advanced, we want you to be working at an eight to nine out of 10. Beginners, six to seven. So power knees, driving through. <sighs> Using these abs to lift that knee. Changing legs in three, two, one. Swap legs. So really pulling that knee in, going as quick as you can, bringing that knee to your chest. Three, two, and time. Oh. Okay, next one, skater. So begin a low impact. Step and curtsy. Step, curtsy, chest stays up. Intermediate, you're gonna leap and advance. Can do that one, <laughs> and that's a tough one. I challenge you to do that one for the full 35 seconds. Stay safe though. <sighs> you can do a nice balletic leap in between. You can add some jazz hands, <laughs> hands can stay on the hips. You could reach up. Whew. So with this one, if you want to work harder, try and really focus on leaping side to side, but also try and speed it up. This one's a killer. You can feel that heart rate staying up and feel those legs burning. Three, two, nearly there. Stay right into the, to the bell. Next one, shuffles. So we're going to come forward. Come backwards in like a football shuffle. Beginner, low impact, forward, forward, back, back. You could do like a, an aerobics box step if you want. Otherwise, shuffles. Let's go, so you get these feet moving. And now you're gonna come forward, gonna come backwards, come forward, come backwards, turn to the side. Back to face me. Other side, back to face me, hold it here, get these feet moving, no tap dancing, this is not tap class, get these feet moving, coming forward, Whew. coming backwards, to the side, to face me, other side, to face me, get these feet moving, oh. next one, I think we've got two, two more rounds, no, three more rounds. Ten to two. So you're gonna jump up, face two o'clock or ten o'clock, jump up, face the opposite, ten to two. Beginners, you're gonna step and squat, step, step, squat. Let's go, engage these abs as you jump. So you jump in ten to two, advance. You wanna make it harder, you actually do 180 degree turn. I'm gonna stick with the ten to two. 
because that's still hard work. <sighs> so this is our eighth round. We're nearly there. Feel that leg burn. Oh, shake it out. Jump back in if you need to. You can mix these up as well rather than stopping. Drop it down a notch. Oh. <laughs> that one's done me in. Okay, butt kick. So intermediate advance. We're here. Beginners. Step, kick your bum. Step, kick your bum. <sighs> Option to make it harder, pump these arms. So the more body parts you can get moving, the more you're going to get your heart rate up. Let's go. You could even punch up to the ceiling. Otherwise, stay here. Get these hands and feet moving as quick as you can. This is our penultimate round. A long word for me, I know. But there we go, penultimate round. <laughs> So that means we push as hard as we can. It's only a 10 minute workout. This is our second to last round. 10 seconds to go. Give me everything you've got. And then some more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Five seconds. Come on. Time. Last round. Now we're gonna smash this and we're gonna finish strong. So last round. Power. I don't know why I'm looking at my pad because I know what was coming. Power squat. So here, you can tell I'm out of breath. Beginners can either do star jumps or squats. Okay, stay with me. Stay safe. 35 seconds. This is our last round. I want you to give everything you've got and more. We're finishing strong. We're finishing tough. <laughs> over halfway there the last little bit to go and then we've done we've done an awesome 10 minutes 10 seconds come on stay with me speed up stay with me five <laughs> come on we don't quit until that bell rings oh my gosh right time That was tough. Whose crazy idea was that one? <laughs> Not guilty. 100% <laughs> guilty. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. <sighs> Journal. Side to side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Gentle side to side. Very important that you do cool down, stretch out. Means that we're getting our heart rate back down, which is really important, especially when we shot it so high up. Quad stretch. I hope you enjoyed that. That is 10 minutes. I don't know about you, but I'm so out of breath. I can imagine I've got a bright red face. I am hot, I'm sweaty. I feel good though. I hope you guys feel good. It's 10 minutes. You can go and get on with the rest of your day, rest of your evening, whatever you're up to. Calf stretch, especially because we've been doing lots of jumping. Back leg is straight, front leg is bent. <laughs> Change legs. And if you want to do some more, hit replay. Have a break, get your heart rate down, get some water inside you. Hit replay and do the workout again, breathing in or breathing out. I'll finish on one of my finishes. I've got lots of five minute finishes, got specific ab workout finishes that are great to, to do as a follow up for this workout. But literally, if this is all you do today, give yourself a massive pat on the back because that was hard. That was really hard. Um, and it just goes to show you know, just getting your heart rate up, doing a 10 minute workout, gets everything going, gets you set up for the rest of the day. Right, I will stop chatting. Go and have a great day, great evening, whatever you are up to. Um, let me know what you thought of this workout, comment below, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, keep up to date with the latest workouts, and uh, yeah, I will see you soon with some more workouts, bye!